Hello. In this video, we are going to do some uh, rational expressions and exponents. So if we have something like this, a to the power negative n, as the exponent is negative, we can make it positive by putting it underneath the bar, writing like this, on over a to the power n. Most probably you know that we have a one underneath here. So we just flip it over and then n becomes positive. And a to the power m over n, we can write this expression as n a to the power m. So this n becomes index of the radical. And if we have a to the power m, multiplied by a to the power n, that is multiplication rule of exponent, then we can write it as a to the power m plus n. So when we multiply the exponents with the same base, then we have to add the exponents. These are the some rules I'm writing now. So if we divide, then a to the power m over a to the power n, so a to the power m over a to the power n, when we divide, then with the same base, different exponent, then we have to subtract the exponent. And if we have something like this power to another power, then we just multiply the powers. So a to the power m raised to the power of n becomes a to the power m n. You can pause the video and write down these expressions because this is really important for you to remember. So the finally, if you have a, b, and the power raised to m, we can write it as a to the power m and b to the power m, like this. And if you have anything to the power 0, that is equal to 1. And if you have anything to the power 1, is that number. So 5 to the power 1 is 5. And if you have a power, Two, then you multiply five by itself two times. So it's five times five, which is equal to 25. Okay, so let's do some problems related to the radical. In these questions, they are asking you write equivalent expression using radical notation and if possible, simplify. So our first expression is a to the power one over four. So in this case, actually, as the bottom number is four, that is our radical index. So that will be like this. So four goes here and A. So this is it for, this is a power of one third. So we see we have three here. This is my index. So we can write this expression as cubic root of 1000. So we have to think of a number, the number we can multiply by itself three times to get 1000. So it's 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1000. So the answer for this one is 10. So number three is PQR to the power half. To the power half means is simple square root because this is two actually index, but two we don't write. So it's P Q and R. We have number four x cubed, y, y to the power four, and then to the power one fifth. So in this case also, our index is five. So we can write as a square root of five goes here, x to the power three and y to the power four. So again, for this one, index is three. So always the bottom number is index. So we can write it as cubic root of 8 to the power 5. So cubic root of 8 is equal to 2 and to the power 5. And 2 to the power 5 is 32. So again here we have 36, c to the power 6, and the whole thing raised to the power of 3 over 2. In this case, our index is 2, so I can write it like this, 36 and c to the power 6 and whole thing raised to the power of 3 because this radical is taking care of this 2 already. So now 36 can go 
outside radical as 6 and c to the power 6 can go outside radical as c to the power of 3. Now we are outside the radical, but this cube is still is there. So we put the cube here and then 6 cube means 6 times 6 times 6. So 6 cube is 216 and c to the power 3 times 3. So we multiply the, this numbers. So it's c to the power of 9. The question here is write an equivalent expression using exponential notation. So as we can see here, index is 5. So we can write it as a exponential notation like this, 10 to the power of 1 fifth. So remember this index always goes as an exponent, but underneath the one, 1 over that number. OK, so number 2. And for the regular square root is 2, index is 2. So it will be x to the power 7 over 2. So for this one, we have to write a to the a b to the power three, and the whole thing raised to the power of one fourth because the index here is four. So this one we have index five, and the whole thing is square. So we can write two over five here. So then it will be like this: three m n to the power of four and then rise the exponent like 2 over 5. So here it is asking you to write as an equivalent expression with a positive exponent. So in, in this type of problem, so we have negative exponent, we have to write it as a positive exponent. So let's see the first one. So this one is 3x to the power negative 1 over 5. So we can just write it down below the bar and make the exponent positive. So it will be 3x to the power 1 fifth. 2 is 1 over 27 to the power negative 2 thirds. So we can flip the 1 over 27 and we can write it as 27. So you have to flip it over. So when you flip it over, the negative becomes positive. So it will look like 27 over 1, but this one does not count. So it's 27 to the power of Two thirds. So negative is gone. Again, this one, this three, we can write as cubic root of 27. 27, and it is squared. So basically, we are writing the one third as a cubic root, and the, the this two will be there. So now we know cubic root of 27 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So then we can get rid of the cubic root and we can write 3 and the square does not go a square will be there. So 3 square is equal to 9. So this one is 3x square over y to the power negative 4 over 5. So we just can bring this y to the power 4, negative 4 over 5 up above the division bar and make it positive. So it is 3x square and y to the power 4 over 5. Now, this one has a negative exponent, 9 to the power negative half, a to the power 2 third, and b to the power negative 3 over 5. It looks scary, but it is not that scary, though. You can just write down the terms with the negative exponent below the bar, and it will be positive. And on the top, the positive exponent will be there. So a on the top, we are going to write a to the power 2 third, and everything else will go below. And then exponents will be positive. So 9 to the power half meaning actually radical 9 we can write. And then b to the power of negative 3 fifth, we can write cubic root of b to the power 5. So x, square root of 9, we can write as a 3. So cubic root of b to the power 5, we can write as b to the power of 3 times b square. We are just breaking down 5 b's into 3 and 2 on purpose because I want to take this b outside because this cubic root and this 3 will cancel. So then we can write b outside the radical. 
So here I will have a to the power two third here on the top and below I have three and this b will come outside. So three b and then this will be b square and cubic root of b square. So that one we can write as cubic root of b square. Again, we can write it as b to the power two third. So as I have a to the power two third here, I can write as b to the power two third, or I can write a over b to the power uh, two third. Okay, so that will be one over three b and a to the power a over b and whole thing to the power 2 over 3. Here we are going to do use some uh, rules of the exponents. So uh, use the rules of exponent to uh, simplify and don't use the negative exponents. So this is simple like we are multiplying the two terms with the same base. So we have to add the exponents. So it will become like this 3 to the power 2 fifth plus on tenth. So the common denominator will be 10. Multiply both top and bottom numbers by 2 to make it 10. So it is 4 over 10 plus 1 over 10. So it will be 5 over 10 or half. You divide both top and bottom number by 5 and the answer is half. So it is three to the power half, the answer. Three to the power half. So this is five to the power negative one third and five to the power negative three fourth. So we just switch the sides and then we can make them positive exponents. That will be first step to do. Now following the division rule, we have to subtract the exponents. So it will be five to the power three over four minus on third again we can do this portion here three over four minus on third so the common denominator will be 12 so we multiply this by three and multiply this by three and multiply this by four and multiply this by four so that will be 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 times 3 is 12 minus 4 over 3 times 4 is 12. So 5 over 12. So here it will be 5 to the power 5 over 12. Here the power x to the power 4 over 5 and raised to another power 3 over 2. So then we have to multiply these two numbers actually. So it will be x to the power 4 over 5 times 3 over 2. So we can divide this 4 by this 2 to get 2 here. So when you are cancelling, we can write a small 2 here. And this 2 times 3 is 6. And below we have 5. So it will be, the answer will be x to the power 6 over 5. So here we have a to the power 2 over 5, b to the power negative on 5th and then whole thing raised to the power of negative half. First uh, let's do from inside. So then it will be a to the power of 2 5th and I can write this term below with a positive exponent. Now we can flip it this portion again and making it positive. So when we flip it, the bottom goes on the top and top goes on the bottom and then we can switch the sign of the half. So we can write it like this. On the top, b to the power 1 over 10 and below, if we take the square root of this one, 
this square and then square root cancel so it will be a to the power of 1 over 5. So here it is asking you to use the rational exponents to simplify. Do not use fraction exponents in the final answers. So here we have cubic root of x to the power 15. We can write this one as x to the power of 5 to the power 3. Now this cube root and this 3 cancels. So answer is x to the power 5. So it is. it has uh, uh, index 6 and cd and the whole thing to the power 3. So we can write it cd to the power 1 6 for this index. And then we can raise the power to 3. Now we can use the rule of uh, multiplication of the exponents, the powers. So if you multiply this, it will be 3 over 6. So then it is cd 3 over 6, which, which is half. So cd to the power of half. So they are asking us to do not use fraction exponents, right? So this fraction exponent, we can't leave it like that. So we have to do, uh, use the radical sign, C, D. So this one, M to M has index five. So this one, this whole thing I can write as M to the power on fifth. And then again, for this radical, we can make the power to the half. So then it will be m m to the power of 1 over 10. Now my index is 10 so we can write it like this and 10 goes here. So in this problem we have index 4 and x cube y to the power 2 and then whole thing raised to the power of 12. So this one will be one fourth. So let's go from inside out. So first thing first, we do x to the power three and y square and raise the power to one fourth. And again, this power is raised to 12. So now this two, we multiply 12 over four. So 12 divided by four will be three actually. So, but we can write it like this, x to the power 3, y square, sorry, 12 over 4. Okay, so then it is x to the power 3 and y square to the power of 3. So, 12 dividing by 4 is 3. Now, we can multiply this to, to get x to the power of 3 times 3 is 9 and y to the power of 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.